Lamb's Quarters is one of the most popular wild edible foods that's packed with nutrition, and how can you learn to identify it? Hey everybody, Chad Cruiser here with Health and Homestead. And this particular plant called Lamb's Quarters, Goosefoot, I think like Henbit, and it's, they also call it pigweed. A bunch of, I've already said, a bunch of wild edibles are called pigweed. Basically anything that humans weren't eating, they feed to the pigs, they call it pigweed. But um, you can call it that, but it's a, it's a fantastically flavorful food. We're, we're actually told that if you eat like a cup of the leaves of, of this plant, so if you, if you eat a cup of these leaves, that you're gonna get nearly all of your vitamin A and nearly all of your vitamin C, and they're actually supposed to be high in protein for a green. So these are just a fantastic plant. And we're told that they originally came from Europe and that they were more popular than spinach. They're actually called wild spinach also. And they were, they were kind of probably the most popular green until spinach came from further from the east, like over from China, came into Europe and then this kind of lost its way. But I've been thinking about it, you know? Um, in my garden this year, I was growing some spinach and it was like spindly, it was pathetic, and it bolted right away. And so we literally didn't eat any of it. And it got like this big, it was pathetic. But look at this, this thing is nearly six feet tall and we would call it a weed. What's a weed? A weed is a plant in a place you don't like it, right? Uh, so a weed is, is a weed is just kind of a, a nebulous term that means a plant you don't like somewhere. And and so, but the thing about this is, it, look at this thing. This is incredible. How much better would it have been? And I actually, I did have this while growing on my property too, and I was going to do a video on my property, but um, I only I, I had them more early in the summer, and then I just had one la earlier this week, and I was like, oh, tomorrow I'll make a video on it. And I came out and the deer must have eaten it because it was gone. It was totally gone. I had these little tiny ones left. But, but here's a great one. I'm out doing my travels and speaking. I'm doing a seminar on, on scientific uh, natural remedies that have been tested head to head with drug medication. And uh, learn more about that on our channel, uh, Health and Homestead. But nevertheless, this plant right here, super healthy. And, and I think about it, why don't we grow more weeds? Literally. I, literally, I mean that. Like, wh it would have been much better for me to try to grow this, even though it was growing wild on my property, but it would have been more beneficial for me to have this growing than it would be the spinach. The spinach was worthless. Uh, and I don't mean that spinach, you might have great soil and it might grow, grow fantastic on your property and more power to you. That's awesome. But, but some of the weeds are actually the best plants to grow. And this has, to my taste, uh, almost identical flavor to spinach and it's packed with nutrition. So uh, thinking about this, how can you identify it so that when you're in the field, when you're out on a walk, or if you were lost in a forest for that matter, how could you learn to identify this plant? Now there's a few things that you can look at. Um, you can look at when it, when it comes to the seeds, you can see the, the seeds that are up here. This just gives you a little idea. And by the way, the seeds are actually edible. So you can eat the seeds. You might want to try to get the chaff to go away and, and just eat the actual seed itself, but they are said to be edible. I haven't eaten the seeds. I've just, just had the, uh, the actual leaf, but they say that both the leaves and the stems and the, the, the seeds themselves, they are all edible. But if you look at the, if you look closely at the stem, it has these lines all in the stem. That's one of the things you can tell. Um, it's been called variegated, basically the lines in the stem. You can see that. The leaves, when you look at them, it's in the goose foot family. And when you look at some of the leaves like this one, it's so clear that it looks like a what? Goose foot. Uh, you can actually almost imagine them walking around, you know, uh, boom, boom, boom. Uh, I mean, you can imagine maybe the foot, the leg comes down here and it looks like a goose foot, right? And so that's why they're part of the goose foot family, Chenopodium album. These are the goose foots. And so looking at those leaves, they're quite easy to tell, especially when they're, when they're in this shape. When they're in this form, they're pretty easy to tell. There is one thing that they could look like. At certain times, I have thought that black nightshade leaves look similar to the, the goosefoots or the lamb's quarters. And so they can sometimes look similar, and, uh, but I think you can generally tell what these are uh, yeah, just by simply taking a look at them. But as you, as you look this over, one of the things you may notice is that some of the outer, outer leaves, like further up the stems, they're kind of more thin and 
spindly may not be the right word, but they, they look more arrowhead shaped rather than the, the real kind of wide goose foot shape. So those are some of the ways that you can, you can learn this plant. You can harvest it just coming along and, and you can either just take the leaves or you can take the stems right now like it's all gone to seed. Obviously, if, you, if you'd gotten to this thing earlier, it wouldn't have the, the seeds all over it. You might be able to just pick some of the stems right off. And, um, but you could get from this one plant, you could get quite a harvest. And earlier it would have been even better. Um, you probably can't see it, but down here, there's just a great harvest on a smaller one where you can much more easily just grab the whole thing and pull the leaves off super easily. While you're out on the trail, while you're out camping, you happen to be lost. Ultimately, this is a fantastic plant and it, and it just seems to be very common over much, if not most, of North America. And since it comes from Europe, you're going to find it there too. So learn more about this plant, this lamb's quarters. And uh, if you like spinach, you're probably going to like this. I, I found that sometimes spinach has kind of an, a metallic, funny flavor to it. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I'm guessing that's based on the soil that it grew up on. I'm not sure. Maybe it's variety, but some of them I just plain don't like. I don't find that metallic flavor, uh, you know, in, in, in the lamb's quarter that I've tried. And so uh, it just has a very simple green flavor like you'd have in standard greens. You can either cook it or you can eat it raw. And it's a fantastic food for you. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. God bless and have a great day.